Welcome back to another beautiful day here. Um, it is daytime even though it's kind of dark out here. Um, right now I'm just fishing in the rain. As you can see I've already caught two fish. It's uh, not too bad. I wasn't sure if they put anything in the game if the fish are better or worse when it's raining. Um, although I will say that's happened to me twice so far where the fish bit and I didn't get the fish. <laughs> that fish looks really weird. Um, that is a puffer fish. Huh. It's kind of interesting. I wonder what you can do with that. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. Um, I'm just going to sit here for a little while longer and catch some more fish. It's the easiest way to get food. I mean, all you need is the two strings and the three sticks in order to make the fishing rod and then the fact that I caught this enchanted fishing pole is just freaking awesome and holy crap another puffer fish I guess I could try to throw it in the oven it's, I keep calling it up it's a stove furnace it's a furnace but I could try to cook it to see um, is it a food no so you can't cook a puffer fish. Um, you know, I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm going to go look up what that does. Alright, so it looks like it's an ingredient for brewing, which we are very far away from doing. And if you eat it, it'll poison you and give you some other bad effects. So, it's not recommended. You can also tame ocelots with it, but we're not really in a um, jungle biome, so we won't really see any of those around. So right now we're just going to collect them if we get them. Oh. Oh, I leveled up when I got that. I thought we got something special. But raw salmon. Which I'm not sure if there's a difference between how much food um, a raw fish versus a raw salmon restores. I'm guessing it'd probably be somewhere around the same, but I'm not really too sure. I wish it wasn't raining. Nothing more annoying than the sound of rain. And when this game decides to rain, it rains for a while. Kind of fun, with different stuff you catch with the uh, fishing pole. I think what I'm going to do next is uh, try to go and find some sheep. Because what they do is they give you wool, and with wool you can make a bed. And the cool thing about a bed is if you sleep in it at night, it'll make it daytime, and if you die, you'll automatically get brought back right next to your bed rather than out wherever you first spawned at. So that's probably the easiest way to get it. Either that or when it gets dark out tonight I'll go around and try to find a bunch of spiders because you can actually take spiders string and combine it together and make wool out of it. And so that's like a secondary way to make a bed. It's just it takes um, three pieces of, or four pieces of string per piece of wool and then it takes three pieces of wool bad so we'll see uh, what we can do with it oh crap <laughs> oh man all I can say is I am glad we've got this armor on now because this would get messy man I always hate those things Sweet, it stopped raining. And why is there still water coming in here? Didn't we block it all off? Oh, no, because this is probably a source block.
Look at this. This hole gets deeper and deeper every time those stupid things blow up. And just like that, you can see how quiet they really are. They literally just sneak up behind you and then blow up. So they're dangerous as hell. You really got to watch out for them because it's easy to, uh, you know, get blown up by them. Like I said, once you have armor, they're really not that big of a deal. But let's say you're low on health from just fighting a skeleton or something like that. Um, the blast could finish you off, so it's probably not the best thing you'd want to happen. Anyways, it's still light out, and I'm going to get on my horse real quick. I'm just going to see if I can find some sheep anywhere. Where's the sun at? So it's still up there. All right. <laughs> a donkey. bunch of donkeys. Nice. I think you can... Uh, Put the saddle on those guys too. I'm not sure how much different they are, but that's kind of funny. Uh, I just gotta remember what way the house is in. It's back that way, so. Right now I'm running um, east. So I gotta go west in order to get back home. A lot of horses around here. Some giant mushrooms. You know what? These will actually be good. Stay here, horsey. This is actually a giant mushroom, and you can see these little red mushrooms are falling out of it. Um, mushrooms are very good to have because if you take the red ones and the brown ones, which is this is a brown one here, you can actually make food out of it. So I'm going to try to get it. There we go. I'm just going to try to get as much of this as I can. Because it's a really easy food source. And, uh, you know, since there's this uh, mushroom biome, I'm just going to grab them all while I'm here. Cool. So where's my horse at? There you are. Um, I'm gonna make a piece of food real quick. How is it? It's that? No, it's a boat. Uh, boats are fun too, but you have to make a bowl, and then you put the mushrooms above it, and you get mushroom stew. Now the cool thing about the bowls is once they're emptied, you can reuse them. Now it's getting dark out. I don't see any sheep around here. So let's head. We're heading west. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna head back home for now. It's too dangerous to be out at night. But I did find a ton of mushrooms, which means a ton of food. So there's all my torches. horse can I have my saddle back I just wouldn't want it to wander too far or get killed and then I'd lose my um, saddle this mushroom stew will work pretty good and I'll put the extra mushrooms in here so technically I got 13 more bowls of mushroom stew left and I think mushroom stew fills you up it's either three or three and a half hearts or something like that so it fills you up pretty good one thing I normally do, which I could probably do real quick, um, especially since there's water around, is make a home pillar. And by that I mean, um, I could do it. Is that my horse up there? What the heck? Okay, buddy. Basically, what I'll do is I'll take a pillar and I'll just go up really high and I'll put torches around it. And the reason I do that is because you can see it from very far away. So you'll always be able to see your home. Um, not really always, I guess, just because you could get too far away. But for the most part, you'll be able to see it when you start getting closer. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that I'm getting really close to these edges and I'm not falling off. 
And that's because I am holding the shift key. If you hold shift, you can get to the edge and it won't let you fall off. If you let go of shift, you'll get to the edge and you can fall off and you can die. Um, especially if you fall a long ways. So I'm holding shift and I'm just, you know, walking around. And, you know, it just makes sure that I don't fall off and die. So, um... Now, this might hurt. I might die here. Hey, look at that. There's that cave I came out of. Remember when I said none of this looks familiar? Well, my house was right there, so I was pretty much standing on it. I kind of thought that, but oh well. I'm going to try to fall into this lake and hope I don't die. Oh, wow. Okay, that was close. Nice. But I am officially torchless. So, make some torches, and I'm going to go try to find some spiders. Here's a skeleton, whoa! Creeper. Damn it. This guy's vicious. Yeah, they definitely up to the skeleton's shot right now. Can't really say I'm a huge fan. Of course, I'm finding tons of, uh, Skeletons and zombies, but no spiders, which actually brings up an interesting point. And there's my pillar. So you can see it's pretty easy to see. But I just kind of realized something, and I'm sure... What the hell? Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. That is not something you want to see. This is a witch. They throw potions that just do a ton of damage and you do not want to really fight them but luckily I'm at my house and I was able to trap in the doorway but holy crap that could have been bad I've died to those things so many times I heard glass break and I'm like wait a minute I have no glass around here but I don't know that was close <laughs> 